every name, above every kingdom.
together. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Oh, come on, somebody put your hands together. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We want to praise the Lord. Only a God like him, he is worthy of our praise. Amen. You can start by putting your hands together. Come on.
go. Let's do one more. Are you ready? Come on. Lord, I lift your name on high. Hey. Feel free and dance in the house of the Lord. Woo! Come on. Lord, I love to sing your praises. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save me. I'm so glad I'm you came to save me. Lord, I lift your name on high. Say, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love, I love, I love to sing your Lord, praise. I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're in my life. Oh. You came, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pray from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I live to make more. Come on, come on, everybody, everybody, come on, come on. Woo! We sing one more time. Lord, I let your name say. Lord, I let your name on high. Standing like a statue. Ba 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 poo poo ba ba ba. Come on, move your body. Let me see. Ba ba ba. Ah ah ah. Ba ba ba. Wow. Yeah, that's it. You're doing it now. Groove it, groove it. Come on, 
Everybody there. Oh. I like your sound. I like it. One, two. One, two, one, two. Hallelujah. Oh, come on now. Come, come. Put your hands together for the Lord. That is powerful. Amen. I want you to greet your neighbor and welcome your neighbor into the very presence of the Lord. This is the ever-increasing faith service. And this, is, this service is full of fire. It is full of fire. Hallelujah. And tell your neighbor, I love you. I love to see you in the presence of the Lord. We thank God for his goodness. Oh, amazing. There is nothing like the presence of the Lord. Please, let's be seated. Let's be seated. David said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. There are good things in the house of the Lord. Amen. And so straight to the point, we want to receive testimonies. If you are here, you want to share a testimony with us. We want you to walk to the podium and then in just a minute, you tell us what the Lord has done or what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. The Bible says we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the word of of our testimony. Hallelujah. Is somebody here to share with us? Yes, you can come. Put your hands together for him. Yes. Is there any other? Yes, yes, yes. Move forward and come and share with us in brief. Hallelujah. Your name and your testimony. Hallelujah. Um, I'm a Tom Asante. Um, just last Thursday, um, that was 20th of February, um, God added a year to my life. <laughs> And I'm so glad and very happy for the things he's doing for me and the things that are ahead to happen. Thank you. Amen. Great things are coming. Great, thing, great things in store. Amen. Let's put our hands together for God, his life. Yes. Um, hallelujah. My name is Julian, and I'm, I'm here on behalf of the musical team. I'm the most excited person here today. Ask me why. Yesterday, we went out on evangelism after our rehearsal. And by the grace of God, two of our souls are here in church today. Wow. wow. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, you have a testimony for us, right? Oh, you didn't hear what he said. He said they went for evangelism. Two of your souls are here. They are the two, right? Okay, tell us. Tell us. Praise God. Your name. Um, I'm Christian Kumsin and Philemon Anda. Uh, we are the two souls they won yesterday. <laughs> uh, we, met, we, we met them, and uh, wow. I can remember Andrew and uh, Atukwe. That's the names that I, I can remember. Wow. And then we, we decided to, wow. I mean, wow. come to the house of the Lord today and visit you. Wow. I hope you have enjoyed yourself. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Wow. sure. It's great wow. to be in the house of the Lord. So we thank God. Come on, make some noise. Hallelujah. Wow, this is wonderful. Please, let's keep winning the souls. Amen. Yesterday, myself, I was in town. I caught some powerful souls. And I trust God that coming Sunday, I'll bring all of them to church. Amen. Okay, so take us, to take us to the next level, we want to receive song ministry. And this choir is a growing choir. It's a dynamic choir. I love them. I love the way they sing, the energy, the power. And I want you to open up as we invite to the podium the ever-increasing faith singers. Put your hands together for them as they come, as they file up to minister to the Lord. Amen. 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 We are just here to minister the word of God through music to you. Amen. That even as we are ministering, you open up your hearts because the song says that we should open up ourselves for the spirit of the Lord to flow through us. Amen. Amen. Yeah.
of my spirit open up cause I am with the father open up there should be no boundaries no limits open up and let deep call on to thee open up Out of my 
belly shall carry the sun every morning. Out of my belly shall carry the sun every morning. open up. Listen. The composer of this song was in some realm. The, the, there's a realm that he got to. He realized that no, there are channels there. That there are entrances to channels. Channels that will open your destiny have been blocked. Will you see that? Channels that must open for you to enter your destiny. And they say they have been blocked. Limitation to your growth, limiting your potential, limiting your, your destiny. You won't see that. And the son was born out of the spirit. And the boundaries, hey, hey. limitations, open up. Yeah. Oh, open up. Channels of my spirit. Oh. I 
Bible body and pray. You have the Father. Every every channel blocked. Every block channel. Every block channel in your spirit, man. Every block channel to your future be opened up. Let there be a flow, a flow, a flow. Let there be a flow. Let there be a flow. May God open you up. To depths, 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 depths. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, please sit down. Next month, this song is the song of the month. Next month, month of March, this is the song you're singing. The whole church has flown this song. Please take your seats in the next few minutes and I will share with you the word of God, which is powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the song of the month. We'll sing it. We'll sing until we see channels open up. Boundaries broken. Limits broken. I know God will do it. He will do it. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Bless us. Speak to us. Your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So, don't go too far because I'm not preaching too long. Don't go too far. Go and come because we'll be flowing again. Amen. Now, we, we, what we do is that every year we, God gives us a word that must lighten on us to assess our destinies as a church, as individuals. And the word for this year is Matthew 16 verse 18, which says that I will build my church. Jesus talking, the lion of the tribe of Judah says I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against. That was a vow. So Jesus is in the business of building his church. Listen, the greatest organization or organism in the world today is the church. Look, nothing matters to God and the church. The church is the most precious thing in God's sight today. And Jesus will do everything to preserve and protect his church. Amen. So he said, I'll build my church, my ecclesia. And when I build that ecclesia, those I've chosen from the power of darkness into my kingdom, if I, if, if I build them up, the gates of hell shall not. The powers of hell shall not. The assignments from hell against them shall, not, shall never be executed. Never. Because I'll build them up. Hallelujah. Now, this, every month, God gives us one word, every one word, which will take us steps towards the ultimate of the year, our build my church. And the word for this month of February is word festival. That means celebration of the word. Why is that so? Because God will use his word fundamentally, basically, to build the church. Acts 20 verse 32 Paul preached three years in Asia Ephesus when he was living he had to commend the church to God and to the word of his grace I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up see which is able the ability and the capacity is in the word to build you up so God's word is our platform for spiritual building. For building spiritual muscles. You want to be strongly built? The word is the answer. Build you up, comma, and give you what? An inheritance among those who are sanctified. Those sanctified are the saints, believers, when you are called by God, you are born again, you become sanctified. You become a saint. You are a saint. Once you get born again, you have been sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are now a saint. And as a saint, you have every right to the inheritance that Jesus gained for us in his death and burial and resurrection. When Christ resurrected in the grave, he received power. He received Riches, he received wisdom, he received strength, he received received honor, glory, and blessing. 
Revelations 5, verse 12. He received these things for us. Okay? Seven vital ingredients or forces of inheritance that Jesus left with us. So right now, the riches of Jesus are with us. His power is with us. His strength, his honor, his glory, everything is all with us. He died and received that for us. Why? So we can rule on the earth. Verse 9 says that he purchased us with the blood. Romans and um, Revelation of chapter uh, 5, verse 9. He purchased us with the blood so we may become kings and priests on the earth. Amen. We have been purchased to become what? Priests, kings and priests on the earth. To rule with the inheritance he has given to us. But this inheritance can be accessed by we being built up. Being built up. So, please, there's no choice about this. You don't have a choice. If you want to really gain the best from God and the inheritance he has given to us, you must, of necessity, yield yourself for God to build you up by his word. The word is what you need to be built up. Amen. Jude 20 says that, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So, you build yourself up on your faith. Your faith is the word. So, the word you receive to get born again is foundational, but built upon that. That's why born again is not the end. You are born again as a baby. You must grow into adulthood so you can access your inheritance. Galatians 4, verse 1 to 4. Galatians 4, 1 to 4. It talks about the fact that when a child is born, as long as he's a child, he can't have access to inheritance until he's, he's grown. But before he's grown, he's given to governors. People govern him. Uncles, aunties, they control him until he's 18 years old. Then they can have access to his inheritance. So growth is necessary. You want to access your best in God, please, the way is to grow spiritually. Build up yourselves on your most holy faith. Now, today, I want to measure on the spiritual warfare dimensions of the word of God. The spiritual warfare dimensions of the word of God. What does that, what does that mean? I'm saying that God's word is under attack. That's the bottom line. That's the meaning of um, the warfare dimensions of God's word. Amen. God's word is under attack. And I'll give you some few scriptures to prove that we need to have God's word to win against the devil. If you lose God's word, you will never ever make it in life. You need God's word to defeat the enemy, to, to win your victory against the enemy. And the first thing that, the first scripture I'll give you is Matthew 13. In Matthew 13, Jesus Christ explained a parable. Amen. And by a sower who went to sow. And some seeds fell on a good soil, and some fell on by the wayside. Now, in verse 9, he explained the seeds that fell on the wayside. And he said that when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, Matthew 13, 19, then the wicked one comes and snatches away what was so in his heart. This is he who received seed by the wayside. By the way, who is the wicked one? Who is he? The devil. He comes to snatch, not to take. That's snatch. Snatching is a more serious word because it comes with an intent to do evil, to take, to 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 to, to forcefully what take it from you. So the devil is a thief. And his target is not your beauty, not your money. His target is the word. Even right now, if I'm preaching, now I'm preaching, if you don't understand the word of God, by the time you leave the door of this house, every word spoken is forgotten, stolen. So make sure you understand the word. Otherwise, you live here robbed. Because the wicked one is waiting for you right now. Yes, you are going to church, fine. He couldn't stop you. But he will see whether you get a word. 
You understand? So his purpose is to rob you of the word. Why? The word made him. He was made by the word of God. So the word is the master of the devil. God's word is the devil's master. So when God's word is actually uh, executed and quoted in our lives, he passed pass out. If you read Christ's temptation, Christ quoted three times and he, the guy left. He could agree with some Christ. So we need the word of God to overcome the devil. That's why he attacks the word. In Luke 22, verse 31 and 32. Luke 22, 31, 32. Jesus Christ told Peter, Peter, Satan has desired for you. He wanted you to sift you like wheat. Huh? He will shake you and sift you like wheat. But I pray for you that your faith does not fail. Your faith does not what? Fail. That's a prayer he prayed for them. I pray for you that you too, your faith shall not fail. Your faith should not fail. Amen. That's a prayer. Now, why, why is it that his faith shouldn't fail? Because your faith is a word. The faith that he spoke about was a word. Romans 10, 17. What is it? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. So, he prayed that, that his faith in the word will not fail. Because faith failure is equal to heart failure. And heart failure results in what? Death. So, faith failure means what? Death. The dead shall live by faith. So, faith will make you live. So, if you, your faith fails, you are dead. That is why Satan will attack your faith. As usual, he will attack the word. Now, do you know that man's fall from the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden, was a product of, of, of twisting the word of God? Man fell. It was an attack on the word. That's how we became sinners. Please understand that. We, Adam became a sinner not because of anything, but because the devil attacked God's word. And he hasn't stopped doing that. He still keeps attacking God's word. Genesis 2 verse 17. Genesis 2 17. Please, you read like you are preaching. Read like you are preaching. 2 17. Genesis. Everybody, go. But of the tree, the knowledge of good and evil... Thou shalt, who is speaking here? God. Thou shalt surely die. Say three times. Thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt surely die. Thou shalt surely die. God said, you shall surely die if you eat it. Now the devil came and said something. Look at chapter 3, verse, verse 4. Verse 4. Are you there? Satan came to the, the devil, uh, Eve, and was chatting with Eve. This is what? He told Eve, everybody go. Genesis chapter 3, verse 4. Go. Praise the, the Lord. And the serpent. Now, don't forget the serpent. I'll come back to the serpent guy. I'll come back to keep it at the back of your mind. Go. And the serpent said unto the woman. You, sh you shall not surely. Now, let's say what God said. And say what the devil said. Go. You shall surely die. That's what the de God said. What did, what did the devil say? What's the difference? Not. Not. Have you seen? So, God's word is positive. The devil speaks negative. Anytime God says you are healed, the voice will tell you, you are no word healed. Who is saying that you are not healed? The devil. When God says you are prosperous, the devil says you are poor. Two peace. One is prosperous, one is poor. So now, try to deter the devil. Anytime God says you can make it, a voice says, oh, you are, you are, you are failed. You can't make it. The way things are happening, the way things are happening in your life, your family, you can't. Don't forget. You lose your job. And everyone tells you, God tells you, you can get a better job. Everyone tells you, oh, you don't qualify. See, Tom, there's no better job waiting for you. <laughs> Please understand. The attack on Christianity is the word. 
is on the word. Please understand that. Get, if once you get this thing, you're, you will fight better, a better warfare against the devil. Once you understand that, the thing is about the word. That's why he attacked in the beginning and he hasn't stopped it. He keeps attacking the word. God's word says that, uh, which about all things, that, that, that may prosper and be in health. The devil comes and tells you, ah, this one is not true. When God says, pay your tithe, they will say, don't pay. No, it's the note will come. Not. God says, pray. They will say, don't pray. God says, worship. You don't worship. God says, go to church. You say, don't go to church. It's always not. Please understand. It's always what? Not. N-O-T. That is the attack on the word. So be alert. That the spiritual fight we are fighting, it's all about the word. Amen. And we are fighting spiritual warfare. Whether you see it or not, the fight is on. Whether you feel it or not, the fight is on. And it's all about the word of God. Amen. Amen. Now let's look at the origin of spiritual warfare. And then we end for today. And we use just one full Bible um, scriptures. From the book of Revelation chapter 12, from verse 1 coming. The book of Revelation chapter 12 from verse, let's look at verse 3 first. Verse 3, first of all. Verse 3, so that we can run very fast. Amen. And you read with me, all of us. Are you there? Everybody go. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And uh, behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his what? Yes. A great red dragon. In heaven. Hey. Hmm. In heaven, who? Not on the earth. A great red dragon. Now, we shall look at the dragon. Who is the, that dragon? Why was he, why did he become a dragon? Right? Now, look at verse 4. Verse 4. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to, to the earth. So, this dragon's tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven. Now, stars in the scriptures represent angels. If you read chapter 1 verse 20, Jesus Christ said that the stars are angels. Amen. They are angels. So a third, that means one third of the stars in heaven were drawn by the tail of the dragon to the earth. One third. So two thirds were left in heaven. Only one third came to the earth. Thank God for that. Give God a clap off on that one. <laughs> Only one third came to the earth. Amen. Now, let's explain all of this about the dragon. Hallelujah. Keep, come to verse, verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. And she brought forth a man child. Go to verse 7 very fast. Let's jump to verse 7. The dragon. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against fought in his angels. Amen? So, Michael is mentioned here as an angel, okay? That fought against that dragon. Michael had fighting angels. In fact, there are, there are angels who fight. There are special angels who have been assigned to fight God's battles. There's one angel who fought the book of the Old Testament. He killed 85,000 people within a short time. One angel. Amen. So these angels fought. Michael's angels fought. And dragon too had angels. They were dead. And they too fought. In heaven. Now listen. Any war that happens in the world, don't blame God for that. The dragon is responsible for the wars. Amen. The wars in Liberia, Sierra Leone, the war in, in the, the Nigerian conflict about this religious, religious thing. It's all the devil. He, he, he's, he the guy is has a bad intent to fight conflict in heaven. So don't 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 be surprised that, that the conflicts come in church because the devil is the cause of that. Verse eight, verse eight. And prevailed not; neither was their place found any more in heaven. Listen, the devil, the dragon withdrew a third part. Of the stars in heaven, and they fought and they lost the battle, 
and they lost their place in heaven. Can I tell you something? Anytime you don't feel like coming to church, the dragon's tail is driving you away. He hasn't stopped that. Sometimes it's a friend who will drive you away. The dragon's tail is the one who is withdrawing you. There are some people who, one or, for one or two reasons, they leave, they leave the church. Even when they have left, the, their tail is still influencing people to leave. Amen. It's a dragon. Say. He withdrew one third of the stars in heaven. What is heaven? It's God's presence. So anything that draws you away from God's presence, understand. There's somebody called the dragon. His tail is working. Look at somebody. Tell him, be careful the, the dragon's tail. Say, whatever draws you away from God's presence is the dragon's tail. Beware of it. It happens in many, many forms. And I'll show you as we go on. Amen. Yeah. Now, now verse 9. Well, let's read verse 9. Verse 9 says what? And the great dragon. Let's all read everybody go with me. Go. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. That old what? Now, I told you to keep serpent in your mind. Right? It has ap- appeared here again. Now, this old serpent was the one who deceived Adam and Eve by twisting God's word. This old serpent has graduated to become what? A great dragon. Now, serpents are smaller than dragons. Two of us. Huh? Yeah. Serpents are smaller than dragons. Dragons are wide, big, huge, huge. Now, how come that this serpent has graduated from Garden of Eden, Genesis, into a great dragon revelation? Now, if there's a demon working in your life, you don't stop him to graduate to become a dragon. Yeah, if there's something that the devil is doing against your life right now, and you don't say, well, bear ye. Oh, it, is, it doesn't matter. And I say, Yo, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You don't pray. You don't fast. You don't do, 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 do anything about it. Yo, you wait. The same thing will graduate, become a great dragon that becomes because difficult to deal with. So right now, as it's there, small, deal with it. Cast it out. Yeah. Amen. Cast it out right now. Amen. So there are five names of that's devil. One, great dragon. Two, old world serpent. Three, the devil. Four, and Satan. Five, deceiver. The whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So the, end, the demons you see around are all angels of the, the, the devil. They are called Nephilims. Maybe next time we'll talk, we'll talk about that. Nephilims. Then in verse 10, verse 10, verse 10, everybody let's read. Go, go. And I heard a loud voice say in heaven, Now it's come. Loud voice, so, so let me hear a loud voice. Go, loud voice, go. And I heard a loud voice say in heaven, Go. Now it's come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. Continue. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. The other name of the devil is called the accuser. So six names. Accuser of the brethren. Now, when he was cast out, Lord was, hey, we are free. Hey, we are free. Hey, we are free. The trouble of Israel, the trouble accuser of the brethren has been cast out. Now we are free. Now there's salvation. Now listen, any time where, where you go to a church which is not growing or has growth challenges, by all means you see people who accuse things, people. Because no salvation. Now. But where, what about before? It was difficult. But now that the accuser has been cast out, salvation has now become easy. People are getting born in the church. They are coming in their numbers. And there's strength. There's power. The power of God is working. And God's kingdom is being promoted. And the power of his Christ is also flowing. 
When these things are, no, are, no, are absent in the church, it means the dragon is working. The accuser. And he will use his accusation. Criticizing people. They will criticize singers. Criticize everybody. Criticize. And they will talk. They will backbite. They will gossip. These are called dragon spirits. Hello? Look at me. Look at me. I'm teaching you. Are you, are you getting blessed? People who accuse, criticize, gossip, they gossip, they backbite. I don't know why they use my backbite. Back, backbite. They don't front bite, they backbite. Then they side back and they side side back. All these traits of they are all dragon, dragon, dragon tail. So note it. Please, you have to understand that the church, church life, eh? What destroys church? Um, faster is accusation, criticism. These things they destroy. It doesn't mean church, church is to grow. Ah, you will not sweep. Somebody is sweeping. You are you are criticizing the person. Why? Does, why is you are sweeping well? You are not singing. Someone is singing. Ah, this song Christ singing. Christ. What kind of song is this? Praise the Lord. Please understand. If you are an accuser and you are a critic of every good thing. You are a cousin and nephew of the dragon. You come with a family of dragon. And the best way for the church to have peace to grow is for you to be cast out. Once you are cast out, hey, the church will grow. Because you are like a troubler, accuser, a dragon. Are we here in church? Look at somebody. Tell him, you are not an accuser. You are a child of God. You are not. Tell him, you are not. You are not. You are not. You are not. Amen. The last verse, verse, verse 11. Now, I, I went up on this note. Verse 11. Everybody go. And they overcame him by what? The blood of the lamb. And by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Let me explain this when I end up. Please, God has not left us alone to be disturbed by the dragon. God has given us two ways or three ways by which we can work on the dragon. The first one is the blood. The blood. Now, listen, we have to engage the blood continuously, especially in communion services. If you don't take communion, Continuously, you are you be an attack. That's why in our church, every Wednesday we come for communion service. Sometimes when I don't feel too good in my body, like you know, I'm not like I want to, then I go take communion. I have plenty communion in my house. So then draw. If I go there, I see one full bottle. Oh, no, it's not open yet. And I, I I take, I just drink. There was a time I felt like no, the body was not pulling. One full week, morning and evening, communion. That's my medicine. Please, communion services. He said, this is my blood share for you. This is my blood, blood share for you. Communion. If you don't come, start coming. Ah, if you have, a, you have a sore on your skin, you can see. If there's headache, you know there's headache. How about the things which you don't see in your, in your body? Inside, you don't see them. There's the, the liver, the heart, the what again, the, the kidney, the, the, the organs, you don't see them. What's happening? You don't know. So you come and take communion, take the blood to service your body. Yeah, go for servicing. Every car goes for servicing. When cars run for some miles, they go, they go for servicing. So you come for communion service, you service your body. Sometimes you don't have time, but you take it anyhow. Yeah, yeah take the communion. That's why every Wednesday is purposely made for blood. It's a blood war. Wednesday is a blood war. They overcame him by what? The blood of the lamb. So take note of number two. And by the word of the... Uh, what does that mean? Not your testimony you give on Sunday. It's part of it. But basically, the preaching of the gospel. That's the testimony you bear by Christ. The power of God is in the gospel. Ask one verse, 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 verse eight. Everybody, ask one eight. Everybody go. And ye shall receive power. After what? God goes account upon you and shall be witness unto me. You, you, you testify by me. Verse, verse 8. Are we there? Ask 1 8. Are we on course? It's not there. 
When the Holy Ghost comes, it makes you what? A, a witness. Or you testify. Witness means a testimony. So the power of God is the testimony we bear about Christ. Those who preach are powerful. Amen. Are you following me? Romans 1 verse 16. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. I'm ending very soon. Okay, it's almost time. Okay, are you there? Everybody go. Romans 1 16. Romans 1 verse 16. Okay. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. Okay. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I'm not ashamed. For it is what? The power of God unto what? Sir. So God's power is encapsulated in the gospel. Those who preach have the power. So be a preacher. That is how to overcome Satan. These days, the Christians we have in these days, there, 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 there are some way. There are some way. They won't pray for me, pray for me. Going to prophet, going to prophet A, prophet C, prophet Z, prophet P, prophet A, prophet C, prophet D, prophet F, and Q. Instead of doing the word, they won't cheap, cheap way. Shortcut. The power of God is in preaching. Matthew 1, Matthew 10, verse 1. Christ called 12 disciples and gave them power over demons. Hello? To go and preach the word. Get the power, go and preach. Luke chapter 10, verse 1. The same. Now, Luke 10, verse 1. Are you there? Luke 10, 1. He called 70 others also and sent them two by two. He sent them two by two. That is Christianity. Now, listen, everybody. You must have a preaching partner. You must have what? Look at somebody. Tell somebody. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Who's your preaching partner? He said them two by two. So you must be two to go out. Constantly going out. Otherwise, you're not a good Christian. Get somebody you can go out with. In fact, by the grace of God, I can say boldly that my wife and I, I found her through going out. Come on, clap, clap for me. Clap for me. It was, we we're students then, students, but we we're going out for evangelism. Constantly, I go to her and let her, we'll go out. She was like, we we're pairing together. And as we paired, and 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 we are paired, and we are paired. Eventually, we became paired. Husband and wife. Who knows? The person you pair with will be your partner. Who knows? I'm prophesying. Yeah. Amen. Please, get somebody you can pair with. Every Saturday or Thursday, any, any nice day, you get, say, let's go out and preach. That is a Christianity which was given to us from the forefathers. Today, it has stopped. He won't pray for me. Praise the Lord. Are you there? Look 10. Are you there? Look 10, verse, verse 1 and verse 2. IT. Amen. And then in verse... 17, when they went and came back, hear their report. They went and came back with a report. When you go out and preach, come back with a report. Like Julian did, hallelujah, with the two brothers. Let's clap for them, amen. Wow. Now, verse 17. And the 70 returned again with what? Joy. Saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Devils. All kinds of devils. All kinds of, it didn't say this, all devils are subject through his name because they went out to preach. What's your problem? If you start preaching, the demons will bow to you. The chimpanzees you see in your dreams, they will stop. The cockroaches <laughs> and, the, and the lions that attack in your dreams, they will stop. Go and preach the word of God. We want to, we want, look, you can drink plenty of anointing oil. If you don't preach, they will still attack you. <laughs> it's the truth. This day, I don't see oil. I don't see oil. I don't see oil. And you can buy rest of oil, and still they will be they are attacking you. Amen. Amen. What is talking to me some time ago? She said she was giving a sticker by a certain prophet. That this sticker, if she puts a sticker on her door, the demons no come. <laughs> she bought a sticker for so much money. That's a money, money laundry. That's prophet, prophets who have money laundress in town. I'm telling you, they are fetish. 
When they come back clear, you won't go. So they will dress like a suit. And, you, so that you can, and when she went, she bought, and she came to the pastor, the thing, the demons are still coming. I said, you have been deceived. <laughs> She's dead now. Now she died. She's still coming to this church. I heard what that she was dead. The demons attacked her, and your faith is in stickers. When the power is in the preaching, <laughs> go and preach. The chimpanzee will stop. You open, you sleep, you see a frog. Ah, open it above. Why? And you are running to prophets for deliverance. Go and preach the word of God. And the, the, the frogs, the frogs will stop opening their mouth to you. Amen. They came back and said that the demons are what subject to us in your name. Why? They went to preach with the power of God. Preach him. Look at the, the next verse. It says what? The verse 18. And he said to them, I bear Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Anytime you preach, because the demons fall. Anytime you preach the gospel, the devil falls again. Come down to verse 19. The last one. Last one. Behold, I give unto you power. I give you power to tread on what? Serpents. Now, serpents. The old serpent has children called serpents. The demons. And scorpions. And over all the power. Over, over how many? Over how many? How many? Or some. Or some. All the power of what? The enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. You are unassailable. Nothing should, should attack you and win. It is Jesus who said that. Jesus didn't lie. If you can take the gospel to, to, and preach, you will, demons will run away from you. Please, what I'm telling you, I raise my hand to God. Is the gospel truth. Nothing but the truth. Believers must wake up and preach the gospel. Miss somebody, preach to him. Let's win souls for Christ. And that's the power. God has a way to channel God's power. I pray that this word, you understand the word and wake up to fight your life battle. All the battles you are fighting in life, your business, your marriage, uh, everything, there's somebody behind. The dragon. The dragon. The dra he wants you to deny God and to deny his word. That's why the fight is on. Amen. I wish you all the best of time. Please wake up and start fighting. Begin to engage the blood of Christ in communion. Begin to engage the power of of God through preaching the gospel. If you start preaching the gospel, the demons that attack you, they will subject. Demons in your family, demons like curses, they will be subdued under your feet. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. You go clap off and stand your feet. Stand your feet right now. Hallelujah. Powerful word. Thank you, Lord. Little two ones and say, Lord, I thank you for the victory I have in the blood. Say, thank you, Lord, for your word. Now, thank God for his way. Last Sata Parosh Kezia. Marote Sinda Katusta Pratashi. Thank God for his word. Just thank God for his word. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. Shakaba. Thank you so much, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. You are holy. Holy. Lord, there is none like you. You are, you are holy. Lift up to one start to God, everybody. Holy. Glory, glory to you. Alone. Lift up West and say, You are holy. You are holy. Holy. Lord, there is none. Lord, there is there none. Is to us and say, You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. holy. Glory. Glory to you alone. Lord, I sing your praises. I'll sing your praises forever. Keep our in love. Keep our in You 
are holy. You are holy. Lift your voice and sing to the Lord, everybody. Holy. Lord, there's none like you. Lord, there is none like you. Lift your hands and say, You are holy. You are. Pray a prayer of warfare for just two minutes. But before then, you cannot pray against the devil when you are under him. He will squeeze you and destroy you. So you must lift his kingdom into a more powerful kingdom. Then you can combat him. So all eyes closed. You want Jesus to come into your heart. You want to say, Lord, today I surrender my life to you. I want you to write my name in the book of life. So when I die, this serpent, my uncle to this serpent guy, I'll go to you, Jesus Christ, my King. Oh, I slowly lift your right hand to God. You want Jesus to enter your heart today to avoid this dragon man. This dragon man is dangerous. Lift your right hand to God. Let me pray for somebody who says, Lord, I accept you today. And if your hand is up, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Let's all say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe, I believe you, died you died for my sin, for my sin. and you rose again, you rose again on, the on the third day. I confess you I confess as you. my Lord. And my personal savior in Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. amen. Now we're going to pray a prayer right now. Anything that will draw you away from God is from the dragon. Lift your right hand to God and say, Lord, anything that will draw me away from your presence, I know it's from the dragon. In the name of Jesus, I break every connection between me and the dragon's tail. Now, let's take a serious. Say, Lord, Lord I, break I break every connection between me and the dragon's tail. Come on, pray right now. Pray right now. Shanderu, Leandarabaka Sakata, Liba Duria Le Katuka Maki, Lendan Darabaka Basakata Rababa, Lebobo Shoko Sokoto, Zima Kosha Zazaga, Lambanze Kozito Le Zazaria, Le Masokata Labashiki. We break, we break, we break anything that Lord connects us with the dragon's tail. We cut the connection right now. We disconnect in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now say, Lord, I disconnect myself from the tail of the dragon. Today, I disconnect myself from the tail of the great red dragon. In the name of Jesus Christ. But they're part of the blood right now. Right now, come on, pray again. Santa Ramu, disconnect. Kisantu Sarama Kataka. Le Dada Rababa Bazon de Beberia. Le Bebere Bezala Bashaka Taka Patara. La Zizika Bababa. Le Soka Sheseke Tataria. In Jesus' precious name, we thank you. We thank you and give you glory. Now put your hand, if you are sick somewhere, put your hand there in your tummy. Everybody put your hand on your tummy, your, your right hand on your, your left hand on your tummy. Lift the right hand up and I pray for you right now. Put your left hand on your tummy. The right hand up to the Lord as a point of contact. Amen. Now I pray for you right now. Every spirit of darkness. Yes, every serpentine spirit. Every, every spirit that is assigned to you to draw you from God. To attack your life and attack God's with your life. I rebuke that spirit right now. In the name of Jesus Christ and any sickness in your body that is eating your flesh, I command you to come out right now. You demon of sickness and pain, out from the body right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I pray for healing for people. By your stripes, you were healed. I speak healing. I speak healing to every human body right now. Human body, spiritual body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call it done. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say you are blessed to be here. Say you are healed. You are going forward. Say tell the person that from today, the dragon's tail shall never draw you away from the church and God's presence. 
Amen. Please give God a clap of free and take your seats. If you brought your tithe, if you brought your tithe and you brought um, your kingdom vision partners, you brought your first fruit, please you can come and let me pray with you right now in Jesus' name. You can come in front here and let's trust God for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And you, 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 you are good. You guys are good. I want to take you to somewhere, somewhere around Kaneshi, and we're going to sing. Amen. Will, will you go? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Only, only us. We'll just get a few instruments. We're going to stand there. Yeah. And then we're going to do the show. Amen. Amen. Lit it up. Father, thank you for the first fruits and tithe. Bless your church in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's please take your offerings. Take your offerings. <laughs> oh, goodness, and measure for us. I'm sorry. Take your offerings. Okay, lift your offering up, Father. We thank you and bless you for the seed we sow. If you are watching me live on, on Facebook, you can memo the, the offering on the number, number there. Memo the offering there, and God shall bless you. Jesus, then say, Lord Jesus, I sow my seed in your kingdom. I believe I'm reaping hundredfold in Jesus' name. Amen. Standing here, not knowing how we'll get through this test, holding on to faith you know best. Nothing can catch you by surprise. You've got this figured out and watching us now. When it looks as if we can win, you wrapped us in, you wrapped us in your arms and stepped in. Everything we need you supply. You got this, bring it on. Now we know. Say, you made a way when our backs were, when our backs were against the wall. And it looked as if it was all but Lord, you made a way. Now we're standing here. Now we're standing there. Only because of you. Oh, you made a way. You, you made a way. When our backs were. When our backs were against the wall. Oh, and it looked as if it was all you made. You made a way. Now we're standing Because you made a way says you move mountains, hey, you cause walls to fall shape with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we stand in here. Say you move mountains, you move mountains. Hey, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made you made a you made a way. Everybody, everybody said you made a way. Hey, you made a way. You made a way. You made a way. Somebody say you. Hallelujah. Shall we please stretch forth our hands towards the offering. Father, we thank you for the authority and power that is in your word. That authority that causes us to triumph in our battles every time we, we, the, the enemy brings the battles unto us. We thank you, Father, even for what you are doing in our midst through your word. We pray, Father, that as we have brought our offerings, Lord, into your presence by your word, 
cause men to give unto our bosom. Good measure, praise and shaking together and pressing over. Cause men to bless us. We give you praise, we give you honor in Jesus' name and all the saints shall say a big amen. amen. Hallelujah. Shall we please have the announcements? Looks like the, the technical, okay. please. All right. We are waiting for you. Okay, whilst we're waiting for you, this week we're going to Angeloga for a crusade. His banner over us. His banner over us. His banner over us. Indeed, is love. On behalf of the presiding apostle George and Reverend Mrs. Veronica Aiku, I welcome you warmly to Love Community Chapel International, where mission is our passion and worship our life. This is our year of building the house of the Lord. We have three services running every Sunday. First service, 6.15 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. Second service, 8.15 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. Third service, which is the ever-increasing faith service, from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Come and experience a spirit-filled word and a powerful song ministration. If you're worshiping with us for the very first time, this is Goshen Sanctuary, the right place to be. Please don't be in a hurry to leave after service. May I have your attention for the following announcement?